following is a video training module on sensitivity analysis by businesstraining.com. Welcome everyone. The goal of this presentation is to explain how to create sensitivity analysis in Excel and understand what it is in practice. Let's see in a little bit more details that we will go through. What is sensitivity analysis? The answer is that it is an analysis technique to determine how the change of assumptions or variables, sales volume, investment size, etc., used in a certain financial model will affect the result. Required results depend on the need, needs of the management. Generally, it can be net present value, profit, profit margin, and internal rate of return. Is an effective is an effective way to understand the outcome of a decision. If the situation turns out to be different versus what was assumed. Sensitivity analysis can be done in Excel both manually and automatically by using some Excel functions. What if analysis means manually changing the assumptions in the model and monitoring the changes of the result. This can be summarized in a table manually. If many changes in many scenarios required, this type of sensitivity analysis would be very time consuming. Threshold values. The analysis can be done by Excel's goal seek fun function. We will cover later how this can be done. Break even point can be found with this type of analysis. The break even point generally is the point at which gains equal the losses. It shows when an investment generates a positive return. At the break even point, there is no profit made or loss incurred. Minimum, base case, and maximum scenarios can be defined as well. These may be probability adjusted. In sensitivity analysis, variables and results is examined. This can be shown in one or two variables data tables. This can be done automatically in Excel. Our example will cover how. Here's the example exercise. The instructions are as followed. Number one, read the exercise first. Number two, download the data for yourself. Number three, first try to solve it in Excel alone. Number four, then we will go through the questions and answer them by using different types of sensitivity analyses. You have the following sales forecast available for your market research department. It forecasts three years and three pricing scenarios. See Table 1. You also know that your product cost and your marketing cost is the following. See Table 2. Construct the profit and loss for the scenarios and answer the questions. Exercise continues. Question. If the management requires the contribution to be positive in the first year, which options can you accept? If the management requires being profit neutral in the first year, which options can we accept? Number three, how much up pricing will we need in each case to be profit neutral in the first year? Number four, does it pay out to spend 10000 in the third year on marketing if demand projection increases by 10% in the third year? Finally, number five, how does the profit change if the sale changes by 5%? Take pricing strategy two and year one. Download the data for the exercises from here. The links are provided below for the Microsoft Word document and the Microsoft, Microsoft Excel worksheet. Remember to try to answer the questions first alone and then have a look at the rest of the presentation.
Question number one. If the management requires a contribution to be pro positive in the first year, which options can you accept? Contribution equals income subtracted by product cost. Income equals price divided by a unit x number of units. You will get the following result that can be seen in the table. The correct answer is we can accept pricing option 2. You can see that the contribution is $2,450. Question number 2. If the management requires being profit neutral in the first year, which option or options can we accept? Profit equals income minus product cost minus marketing cost or profit equals contribution minus marketing cost. You will get the following result displayed on the screen. The solution is circled in red as all the numbers are negative in the circle. The answer therefore is none. We can accept any of the scenarios in the first year. On to question number three. How much up pricing we would need in each case to be profit neutral in the first year? We will use the goal seek function of Excel. It can be found either going to tools, goal seek, or if you have Excel version 2000 data, it's what if analysis or goal seek. The gray window shown on the screen will pop up. To the set cell input the cell containing profit formula. To value, input zero. To by changing cell, input the cell containing the selling price. It must not be a formula. Click OK. Excel will calculate the threshold value for price. The answer is ten dollars and seven cents by price for pricing option one. And 11.3 dollars for pricing option 2 and 10 and 10.3 dollars for pricing option 3 these are the prices to be profit neutral respectively in the first year question number four does it pay out to spend $10,000 in the third year on marketing if the demand projection increases by 10% in the third year? Now we will perform manual what if analysis. You need to input $10,000 into third year marketing expense and increase both sales and product cost by 10%. You will get the following result displayed on the screen. Solution is circled in red. The answer is in case of pricing 1 and 2, yes, it does pay out. You can also find the solution, the solution in the solution file provided in the end of the presentation under worksheet question 4. Finally, question 5. How does the profit change if the sales changes by 5%? Take pricing strategy 2 and year one. Now we'll perform automated sensitivity analysis by using Excel's data table command. This command is to perform sensitivity analysis for ranges of values of a model input. The cell references given in the description relates to the solution file, question four worksheet. The file can be downloaded in the end of the presentation. And number one, Enter a list of input values in a column. See, que see question 5, tab solution file, L10, L14. Number 2, enter a reference to an output formula, this time is profit. Enter equals D43 in cell M9. Select entire table, two columns including formula, cells L9, colon, M14. Choose data table. In Excel 2007, choose data what if analysis data table. Since the list of values are in the column, use the column input cell 
edit box to specify where the value should be input into the model. Here it is cell D4. The following result will appear. See the red table on the screen. On the next slide, you can download the solution file. By clicking on the file, it will open up. These files are available at the bottom of the screen. We have reviewed that sensitivity analysis is a method to understand the outcome of a business investment decision if the situation turns out to be different. It can be done both manually and automatically in Excel. We know how a contribution is calculated as a result of income minus product cost. One way of sensitivity analysis is to find threshold value, such as break-even point, with the help of Excel's goal seek function. Break-even point is the point when gains equal to losses. Through an exercise, we practice manual what-if analysis, goal seek function, and one variable data tables. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please contact us.